14 members here, 14 folks. Good evening, everybody. It is 6.30, Monday, April 20th, 2020, the Kearney Board of Alderman meeting. Uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, Shirley, have you had a chance to take roll? I have taken roll and uh, everybody is present and you have a quorum. All right, thank you. Uh, we'll move to the consent agenda. There is nothing on the consent agenda this evening. Uh, as far as for items to pass, uh, besides uh, our um, previous minutes and, and such that I assume everybody has reviewed. So we'll move on to mayor's remarks. Uh, we'll, we'll st I'm gonna start with an update on the COVID-19, the coronavirus update. Again, we appreciate all the cooperation from our residents uh, remaining uh, in place as much as humanly possible. Uh, we must continue to take extra precautions when venturing out, practice our social distancing, continue to wash your hands frequently and avoid touching your face. Uh, there's, there is a hashtag that uh, everybody's using, stay home, Casey. Uh, just reminding everybody to stay strong, stay safe and stay at home when possible. Uh, Next under mayor's remarks uh, 3B, I did, did want to mention to the board a request for the change in rear 30 yard, excuse me, 30 feet uh, minimum to accommodate decks uh, enclosed in 3B is a request from the Greenfield developer Garrett Seiler requesting the city permit on the encroachment of decks into the 30 foot uh, rear yard minimum. Uh, before I wanted to have any more discussion with the developer and go through any recommend to go through any public hearing process for changing our ordinances. I did want to just mention that to the board and uh, gauge whether there is an appetite by the board to consider such a change. Uh, with that, I, I will ask in, any board member that has any comments. Uh, now is the time that I would, would seek your, your input. Mayor, I um, say that on on the information that I have so far, I don't know that I would be in favor of it. Um, I think any time that you're asking for um, a an exception to a rule, it shouldn't be for an entire subdivision. And I think that um, once we give a variance for this subdivision, then you're you're almost you almost have to do it for anybody else or you're gonna open yourself up for litigation. Um, if the city didn't want 30 foot setbacks, we wouldn't have those on the books. And so um, unless there's some extenuating circumstances that I'm not privileged to, I, I just, I don't see a need to, to change what we have on the books. Mr. Mayor, now most of these were about corner lots. Was, is that correct? Yeah, so I, I'm not certain on any specific lots. Uh, the, the comments that I've heard from the developer is they have several lots in a phase that uh, they're not able to, the, the way that the home sets on the lot itself, they're not able to uh, have uh, desirable decks uh, based off of the setbacks per our current ordinance as as it is. Well, were you looking to make this change for just one subdivision or, or citywide? So I, right now I'm not recommended anything. Uh, there was, as as the, the agenda states and I, I mentioned, uh, I've been contacted by the developer and um, he, he asked that it would be brought up for consideration and before basically I didn't want him to spin his wheels. Uh, I, I thought it would be a, a good idea just to bring it up and get some input from the board to share with them at this time. I will say that the letter from uh, Siler Construction does specifically say just corner lots so it isn't the entire subdivision. Um, I don't know. Mayor, this is Marie. Uh, my thought, you said desirable deck. So what are we saying is desirable in as much as what is the developer wanting to put 
uh, the size of the deck on these homes? Yeah, that's that's my understanding is based off of the the current setback uh, and and the way that the homes would set on these lots that there there's little to no room for for any lots. I did have uh, David Pavlich uh, look into what are the setbacks to uh, some of our neighboring cities, and I'll let him report on that. Um, but but it does appear that our setback uh, is not extreme compared to some of our neighboring cities. Did you want me to report? Go ahead. There. Uh, the city of Liberty matches our requirements. They require a 30 foot uh, rear yard setback. Um, the city of Kansas City has several different sizes of lots. Um, they have lot sizes that range from 4,000 feet uh, square feet up to about 10,000 square feet on those bigger lots that are more comparable to the size of lots we require. They require a 30 foot rear yard setback. On the smaller lots, they allow a 25 foot rear yard setback. Um, they do allow an encroachment of, uh, uh, I think, 20% into their um, rear yards. So, uh, or they allow, I think it's, they allow an encroachment up to 20 foot from the rear yard for a deck. Uh, wouldn't be an enclosed deck or covered deck. Those would be considered part of the house, the primary structure. So they would still require that uh, minimum of 30 foot. City of Smithville, they allow, uh, they have a rear yard setback of 20 feet. They allow a 20%, I'm sorry, a 30% encroachment uh, into that rear yard of six feet for any, uh, open deck, covered deck, and closed deck, but it's my understanding that that ordinance was passed about five years ago in response to um, one of their board members uh, had a friend that did some work without a permit, and, and that code change came about to try and accommodate that work. Um, so there's a little bit of a range in what some of our cities require. Yeah, Mayor, thanks. from Mayor, from that um, letter, was it, the way I read it was that he wanted to put larger houses on it um, and decks. And so my, I guess my question is he could still put houses on that and still put decks on the houses would, the footprint of the house would just need to be smaller. Is that true? Correct. It, 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 it won't matter. He would have to adjust the floor plans uh, that he has for that subdivision. That is accurate. Okay. Uh, appreciate the feedback. Uh, that's really essentially, obviously, what I wanted to accomplish is to uh, get some feedback to pass along to the developer. So if there are no other questions or comments in relation to that, I will move on to item 3C, an application to rename Jesse James Park to Bill Dane Park. So enclosed in 3C is the application that I have submitted to rename Jesse Jane Park in memory of former Mayor Bill Dane. I also enclosed resolution 14-2005 establishing a procedure for such applications. This would first be submitted to city staff for review and comments, then submitted to the park board who would then in turn submit it to the board of aldermen with the park board's report and recommendation. I feel it's appropriate that as part of the 50th anniversary celebration of the Jesse James Festival, that the namesake of the park be shifted to the memory of our great community leader, Bill Dane, who inspired so many of us. When festival time rolls around, I want everybody to understand and be sure that it's still going to be referred as the Jesse James Festival at Bill Dane Park. Obviously my intention here is not to change anything with the festival. Uh, while there is no comment being sought from the rest of the board this evening, I simply did want to make the public announcement of my intention and the application as formally being submitted. I will also invite the public to participate by submitting any written uh, comment, any letters and or resolutions as may be appropriate in helping the city develop a consensus on this application. I will state that I have, uh, once the, our agenda did go out Friday, uh, I have received several uh, several pieces of correspondence uh, overwhelmingly in support of this application. So with that, 
that uh, I'm sorry, I, I do have one other item I do want to mention under mayor's remarks. And that is I've been working with Jim. Uh, I, I don't believe this should be no surprise to to any of us on the board. Uh, but we're anticipating obviously revenues to be down this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So we're looking at uh, different stress models, I'm going to call them, of, of, um, of budgets uh, down in, by different amounts of uh, revenue. And so um, just wanted to make the board aware to where we're not making any decisions this evening. Uh, there, there's going to probably be items that on our approved fiscal year budget that uh, we will not move forward with. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we'll make those decisions as, as we need to. So with that, that concludes my mayor's remarks and we'll move uh, to the administrator's report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I simply want to report uh, that we've uh, acquired uh, seven laptops for our city staff and we've programmed them with uh, VPN connectivity to city hall so we can be more productive working from home. They'll uh, be able to uh, work uh, as if it were uh, they were at their desk uh, from, their from their laptops at home. They can, they'll, they'll have access to the server and essentially uh, all the tools that they have at their computer in the office. So. Uh, that that's a, a, a helpful thing. Uh, the police department, you know, had purchased new computers and 13 of those were laptops and those have all been programmed for the same work at home capabilities. Uh, so there's less uh, contact between the individual police officers. Uh, we've had several quarantines uh, due to suspected indirect uh, COVID contacts, but None have uh, confirmed positive. I'm pleased to say that uh, we, uh, so we, we have no known direct uh, COVID contacts and nobody sick. So, uh, so far so good. And um, as the mayor says, uh, he's having us work on some, uh, some um, budget models to see what we might be able to need to do or actions we'll need to take as we move into a, um, a we're anticipating a, a sales tax cut, a drop uh, that, that, that mm -hmm. has not yet been realized. So um, probably they're probably different scenarios more than anything right now, but we'll, we'll be working on that and we'll keep the board informed. That concludes my report, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, we'll move to public requests and petitions. Uh, Mr. Mayor, enclosed in uh, 5A is a proposed commercial site development plan to raise and rebuild the Burger King located at the Northeast corner of Kearney West Shopping Center. Uh, and uh, uh, there's also a staff report enclosed. At their April the 13th meeting, the uh, Planning and Zoning Commission voted four to zero to recommend approval of the site plan subject to staff comments. Minutes of that meeting are enclosed in the agenda packet. And a live YouTube video is posted online of the meeting. It's uh, the first ever entirely electronically attended PNZ meeting. Uh, and um, the, uh, the uh, staff recommends approval and we'll turn it over to David Pavlich who can introduce, I suppose David Eichmann's with us. I see a Todd uh, attending. Okay, David's there. I got on, thank you. Oh, there he is, I see you. Miss uh, David, do you wanna give a report? I, I, if everybody's read the uh, their agenda packet, they should be familiar. Burger King's wanting to raise their existing building, build a brand new style of building. There's a site plan and there's some uh, photograph exhibits inside of the packets. Really nice new store. Uh, planning and zoning recommended approval unanimously. We've had our city engineer also look at it. There's some very, very minor comments that don't affect the uh, uh, site plan approval. And then again, David Eichmann, who's with Olson, who's the engineer on the project, is here tonight if anybody had some specific questions. This is Marie Steiner, and my question is, I don't see a start date or an end date. I just, I'm thinking about when Sonic took their building down and put up the new one, what they do that in 98 days. I mean, it was a short period of time. I was wondering, David, what are we looking at as far as start date and end date? What do you anticipate? Well, I don't know, Todd, I think you're on the line. I don't know if you've had a schedule set up 
uh, we still got to submit for permits. Um, so my thinking, unless Todd wants to interject, is that they're probably going to start later this summer, uh, probably July, and be done uh, in about a six-month period after that. Yeah, hi, this is Todd. Can people hear me? Yes. Yes, Todd. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm the, uh, so you know I am, I'm the uh, operating partner uh, for Gilbertson Restaurants, and uh, I've, I've been in business here for 20-some years. Uh, our plan is that uh, to get under construction uh, the first week in July, and it usually takes about five months, uh, as long as we don't run into any weather type of issues. Uh, it is it is quite a larger building than, uh, than a you know, Mr. Mayor, did you take your... Yeah, I'm here. Can you guys hear me okay? Yep. Jim, uh, <clears throat> it, it appears we have everybody. You want to, shall we take roll call uh, for the record, or you think we'll be okay? Alderman Spencer, are you here? Uh, and you, we need to sh share your video if we can. You're muted, and you go to the bottom of the screen, Jerry. If you go to the bottom of the screen, you've got to kind of tap the bottom of the screen and it will come up. There she is. And uh, when you tap the bottom of the screen, Jerry, there's uh, the same kind of emblems as would be on your screen, your, your desktop. Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was looking at the Jerry's iPhone. I know. I, I, I come back on the computer. Great. So say I, Jerry. I. Alderman Holt. Aye. Alderman Steiner. Aye. Alderman Barger. Aye. We are all present, Mr. Mayor. All right. Uh, so I, I believe uh, Mr. Ekman was given a presentation when it cut out for me. I don't know who all was, was able to hear the presentation or not. Um, but uh, I, I well, let, let's start there, please. And Mr. Eichmann had yep. So we we had the question about the time timeline. We had answered it that uh, basically we're looking at July first week to start, and we will, and the owner is looking to be done in about a five month period to answer the question about the the work. Thank you. Kathy, do you have any discussion from Planning and Zoning Commission? I don't. Everyone was very excited about the project, and there wasn't really even a lot of questions that came up. Yeah, well, I would share in that excitement. It's going to be a, a, a beautiful change for that location. Okay, if there's no other discussion jim it appears obviously there's nothing to consider this evening well uh, a motion for approval of the commercial site plan is in order so if we could get a board motion approving the site plan as it has been recommended by the planning and zoning commission that would be appropriate i make a motion to approve the plan i second it. Okay. all right we have a first and a second uh, all in favor, we'll take roll call. Aye. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's my job. Alderman Spencer? Aye. Alderman Holt? Aye. Alderman Steiner? Aye. Alderman Barger? Aye. Okay, that's vote is unanimous, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you asked if uh, there were any other actions uh, by the board and uh, when we passed on the consent agenda, uh, the, the, the formality of approving the minutes and the uh, bills presented for payment uh, would be good, although we can mark it as unanimous consent. We've done that in the past. So a motion would be appropriate for that as well. Yeah. Make a motion to approve consent agenda. I second. Take roll. Alderman Spencer. Aye. Alderman Holt. Aye. Alderman Steiner. Aye. And Alderman Barger. Aye. The vote is unanimous, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, we have no public hearings 
no old business to discuss, no new business to discuss, which would move us to Alderman discussion. Alderman Spencer? Nothing. I'm just proud of our city and how we're handling this. Yeah, thank you. Staff has done a wonderful job. Uh, all of our departments uh, adjusting to this. So thank you for sharing that. Alderman Holt. I'm good at this time. Uh, I just share the same sentiments. I think that the city's doing very well with the situation at hand. Okay. Alderman Steiner. Nothing for me, Mayor. Okay. Alderman Barger. Nothing for me. All right, well, that concludes Alderman discussion. Can we have a motion to adjourn? Motion, motion to adjourn. To adjourn. <laughs> we have a first, do we have a second? Second. All right, uh, take roll, Jim. Alderman Spencer? Aye. Alderman Holt? Aye. Alderman Steiner? Aye. And Alderman Barger? Aye. Votes unanimous and and uh, thanks, and thanks for being patient while we uh, watched half of our group exit. Uh, spectrum. <laughs> it generally doesn't do stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, Mr. Quentin.